Hey good people, Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video we're going to look at solving a radical equation that simplifies to a linear equation uh, continuing with this one radical uh, a little bit more advanced. So we have the square root of 6v minus 6 equals 6. So the process is the same. We want to make sure that the, the radical is isolated to one side of the equal sign, which it is, and then we want to clear the radical by squaring both sides of the equation. All right, so now I have 6v minus 6 equals 36. And from here, we just want to solve the equation. So to undo the minus 6, we need to add 6 to both sides. So 6 times v equals 42. Divide by 6, v equals 7. And again, you can check that out. Six times seven is forty-two. Forty-two minus six is thirty-six. The square root of thirty-six does equal six. All right, let's try another one. All right, so here we have the square root of four x minus seven equals five. So again, we check here the radical is isolated it equals a positive number. So let's begin solving it. So let's undo the radical. All right, so 4x minus 7 equals 25. And now we want to solve the equation like we have before. So add 7 to both sides. So 25 plus 7 is 32. and divide both sides by 4. So x equals 8. Check your solution. Four times eight is 32. 32 minus uh, seven is 25. And the square root of 25 equals five. Okay, so x equals eight is correct. Alrighty, let's try one more of these. All right, so this one we have negative three equals the square root of four x minus 19 uh, minus two. Now, before you say no solution, you must make sure the radical is isolated. I'm gonna swap sides here. So four x minus 19 minus two equals negative three. So before I say this is no solution, I have to make sure the radical is isolated. And then once the radical is isolated and it's set equal to a negative number, then I can say that this is no solution. So I need to add two to each side first since it's not underneath my radical. So I have the square root of 4x minus 19 equals negative 1. The radical is isolated. It's telling me that the square root of some number equals negative 1, which is not possible. So my answer here is no solution. All righty, good people. I hope you found that video to be helpful. Thank you.